OK, you want to create a dynamic drop down list in Excel. So in my example, I want a drop down list in the branch column. And when I add a new branch to this list, that branch automatically appears in the drop down. Now, the key here is to put this list, which is the source for your drop down, in an Excel table. That will make it dynamic. Now, to do that, what you do is you select one cell in the list. And then if you go up to the Insert tab on your ribbon, you'll see the Table button there. You can also use the shortcut key Control T. That will do the same thing. You'll get this dialog box that confirms the range that it's going to include in your table. And also it checks whether you already have headers and it's worked out here that I already do. So all I need to do is click on OK. So now to create the drop down list, select the cells that I want the drop down list to appear in. I go to the data tab on the ribbon over to the data tools group. And there's my data validation button. Allow a list. Click in the source box and then select the cells in that list. Click on OK. So I've got my drop down list. If I add another branch and I'm adding it in the next available cell, so add London, you can see that the table automatically expands to include that new branch and that branch will appear in my drop down list. Now, if you want your drop downs to appear on subsequent rows in your database, also put this in a table. So click in any cell, insert table, click on OK. If you don't like the formatting, that's OK. You can just go to this drop down and then clear the formatting. And now if I add a new record, you'll see that the drop down list appears in the new record. Now in this example, the source list for my drop down is on the same sheet as the data. If this list is on a separate sheet, there's an extra step. So let's just go through the process again. Here's my database, but the source list is on another sheet. So again, I put this in a table. Click anywhere in the data, insert table, click on OK. Once you put it in a table, you need to select all the items in that table. Don't include the column heading. And then you need to give your selection a name. Now to do that, you click in the name box, which is appearing just above your worksheet. Click into that box and I'm going to call this branch list. Cannot have a space in a named range, but you can have an underscore. Press enter. Now it looks as though the name has disappeared, but it is, you'll see, in this drop down list. So now if I go back to my database, I'm going to select the cells that I want the drop down list to appear in. I go to the data tab in the data tools group. I click on the data validation button, allow a list, and then click in the source box. Now you could type the name in, but a shortcut key is the F3 key. That will give a list of all the names in your workbook. I'm going to select branch list, click on OK. So you can type it in as it appears there with an equal sign or use F3, click on OK. And now you'll get your drop down list. If I add London to the list, that will automatically appear in my drop down. Now in this scenario, I want to do something slightly different. In the branch cell here, I want a drop down list of any branches that are typed into this column. I then better select a branch and do a sum if calculation on revenue. Now, the first thing I would do is I'd put the database in a table that will make this database dynamic. So click anywhere in the data. I'm going to use the shortcut key this time, Control T, click on OK. And I'm going to give the database a name. So I'll call it transactions. Now to name the table, you don't use the name box, you use this table name box, which is on the table design tab. I'll call this transactions. And I've pressed enter to store the name. So then what I'm going to do on the branches sheet is I'm going to create a list of the unique items that appear in this branch column. And I can do this using the unique function. 
Now this is only available in Excel 365. So array is the only argument we need to use here. And that's basically the column we want to extract unique values from. Now, if I type the name I gave my table, transactions, double click on it, open a square bracket, I can then choose the column that I want to extract the unique values from. So close the square bracket there, close the round bracket, press enter. So that's extracted the unique branch names. I'll then sort those branch names using the sort function. So now if I go back to my database and I add a new record with a branch that's not currently in that list, my unique formula has picked up that new branch. So this dynamic list is going to be the source for my data validation dropdown list. Back to the sheet, I'm going to click in this cell where I want the dropdown list. Go to the data tab, data validation, allow a list. So once I've clicked in the source box, I'm going to go back to the branches sheet and I'm going to select the first cell, the cell that contains my formula, and then put a hash symbol after that cell reference. And the hash symbol will refer to all of the values that this formula is returning. So if I click on OK, so now you can see it's included all the unique branch names. If I add another one, it will include that new branch. So once I've got that drop down list, I could then, for example, use a sum if to add up the revenue for whatever branch is specified here. So my range would be the branch column, comma, the criteria would be here in H2, comma, and the sum range would be the revenue column. So now if I change this branch in the drop down, it automatically recalculates for me. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.